Hey guys, welcome back to another review. And today I will be reviewing the brand new Mesco Toys. Mesco Toys Spider Man. I'll be popping models, sparkles, and champagne. So for this Spider Man figure, I paid retail, and uh, this figure I've actually been excited for. Um, I originally wasn't going to buy this because I usually don't do Mesco, but honestly, I couldn't pass on the offer. Um, I did get this at my favorite store called Buddy's Toy Stores. Uh, I will have the link of their place in the description, so if you're interested, go ahead. But yeah, um, so the box is very nice. Um, if we bring it in closer, you can see all the comics mashed in together and looks very nice. The artwork, I love it. Very Steve Dickowish. Um, I'm not sure if it has uh, John Romita, I think that's his name. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But um, this looks like an, maybe an combination of both. I'm not very sure, but yeah. Um, so let's get into the accessories first. Okay, so for the accessories, it comes in three trades, which is quite a lot to be honest. Um, so for the first one, the figure is already out because I've had him for a while, for at least maybe uh, less than a month. And this is what it comes with. I will be spreading them out soon. So there goes that. It does come with a lot. And then he comes with the extra tray, the second tray at least, a stand, um, a display base, magnets or batteries, I'm not sure. I think these are actually batteries. And then the third tray is all of these hands right here. And then the mask, the spider, the spider accessories, the webs, and extra webs. So yeah. And then let me bring out the, the display because I do have the standout. So this is the display, very stiff. This is the stand, it looks very nice. I love the art, the words, and the stand, very large and solid stand to be honest. So it's pretty tight. But yeah, this is a solid Mesco stand. I binged all your nano stuff. That shit is bussing, no cap. What? And so here we have the figure itself. Um, I do like this a lot, but there's a couple issues that I don't like from the Mesco style because I really don't do Mesco. So overall, um, I like it a lot, like a lot. The details is all there, the paint, or actually I don't even think there's paint. This is all just uh, screen printed, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But the head sculpt, I'm pretty sure it's painted. I mean, that's very Steve, Steve Dickowish. And then sewing, the logo itself. Blue parts, and it goes all the way down, stitching. So yeah, details all there. Um, the articulation is actually pretty good, but he does come with a lot of the extra hands and stuff. Um, I do like the accessories that he comes with. He does come with the the light up head sculpt, which I actually I'm not a fan of to be honest. I've seen reviews, so I'm not gonna do it on mine because I actually don't really um, like it to be honest with y'all. And then he comes with also the big eyed Spider Man. So basically, if, if you want him to have a bigger eyes look, I mean, that looks great. I mean, that looks, looks really good actually. So yeah, he also does have the, one of my favorite head sculpts to be honest. He does have the half Peter and half. Spidey look, which looks fantastic. I mean, that looks great. Paint job, and you can see that looks great. So yeah, that looks great. Um, if we take that one off, he does have a lot of heads. In total, he does have five heads. Um, he does have also have the Peter Parker look. Uh, I like that. That looks. But that looks great. I like that. That looks fantastic. So yeah, it's just a generic, or not very generic, but it's it's Steve Dicko, you know. Um, he does come with a 
web accessory, which is for the face to cover up. So, I mean, if you wanted to grab it and put it on somebody, there you go. So that looks great. And then, let me take this off. Let me put on back the Steve Ditko I had, because I do prefer that look. He does come with the web backpack, which is very similar to the um, Mayfex black suit. It does come with a very cool accessory, the newspaper. It does come with the web effect, or spider sense, which is very cool. Now, the cool thing about this Spidey is that he actually does come with two little cameras, right? So he comes with this one, and he comes with also Peter Parker glasses for the head sculpt right here, so you can just pop it on and get something, something like that. And then he does come with a other camera. Now this one right here would be attached to the So they would be attached to the strings. I like the concept, but I don't want to mess with it or even do anything with it because I don't really want to break them. So there's that. Uh, now he does come with this humongous web shield. I mean, just look at those details. It looks crazy. So yeah, it comes with that. And then of course he does come with the stand. There's that. <laughs> So he does come with a web shield, which is very interesting. I've never really seen Spidey with a web shield, but this is a great concept. Um, he does have the cool spider display part. I don't really know what it's called, but this looks really cool. I like this a lot. So you can just simply just grab him, put him on top, and then bam. I mean, that looks cool. That looks it gives me a, a vibe from a Spider-Man poster I once saw when I was younger. So I like that. And he does come with a Benny wire web. I am not gonna mess with this. I have Benny wires of my own. This, I've seen reviews where the material is actually breaking off on this one. So I'm good on that. Um, he does have this straight web. I mean, you can see, I mean, very tonic from ish almost. And then, he also has a, I mean, I don't really know what this is called, but it, it does just look really cool. And then he has a web shooter, just a regular web shooter, so, you know, just with the web. And then I, this is one of my favorite accessories that he has, uh, simply because I, we rarely get these. This is the unmasked thing in focus. Web unmasked head, or web mask, spider mask. No, I went through exactly the same thing at your age. Okay, boomer. And then he has a. It's, it's supposed to be for the umbrella, uh, like a parachute, but you can also use this behind him, like a slingshot from the Spider-Man PS2 game, which is actually a really cool idea I saw in a Instagram post. I don't remember the person's Instagram, so I'm sorry, but. He does have these. I don't want to open these or and lose them, but this is very Spider-Man PS4-ish. So yeah. So he does come with all of this. This is a lot of accessories, plus the extra pair of hands, which is actually pretty crazy, which is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 16 pairs of hands, plus eight, the extra two, and they has on right now, so that is, wow. Yeah, he has a, a lot of accessories for a Spider-Man figure. Hey, I'm here to save the day. Oh God, Spider-Man, please don't! Huh? <laughs> I took my mouth! So for articulation, so the head, fantastic movement. He can go sideways, and then he can go this way to the left, which is pretty good. He does look up this far, which is actually amazing. No pun intended. And then he can look down, not very much far, but that's okay. Um, so. For the shoulders, okay, so I've seen a lot of people actually mess up the fabric up here. 
what I figured out, uh, probably a lot of people actually already know this, I'm not sure, but what I figured out is if you actually pull it down and move it upwards with it, you can get this far up, which is amazing for a Mesco figure. I mean, it's not even messing up the stitches or anything. So yeah, but do be caution. Um, clearly, you can see this doesn't really punch up the fabric only up here, but this doesn't really affect it, to be honest, because you can just move it up. So yeah, um, this goes up this far up and then goes this far out up. so that's pretty good and then he can go this far back he does have a bicep swivel and then he does have a beautiful double joint past 90 i thought this would be like a form but it's not but that's fine he does have a hinge down and up and then if you actually move the ball joint, it can go in and out because it's just a regular ball joint that imports usually have. So yeah, so if you you can perfectly T-pose him, honestly. It's perfect, T-pose. Put a crunch forward. So what I figured out also is if you squeeze it, then move it forward, you get this much movement, which is actually really good for a mess kill, to be honest with y'all. Um, be caution, this is my copy and I do want to get the max range. So if you don't do this with yours, that's completely understandable. He does go this far back, not the greatest. Um, splits, very far. I mean, this guy does the purpose of splits, honestly. Um, no drop down, which is fine. Um, he does have the thigh cut. Thigh cuts, or the thigh cuts actually, um... It's not the greatest, to be honest. I mean, it's very stiff online, so maybe just mine. Um, the double joints on the knees goes this far, so he can kick his own butt, which is great. No boot swivel, sadly, but he does have ankle joints, and it's very minimal. I mean, this is the farthest you can get out, and then out this way, and then down, you know, barely nothing up. So yeah, so articulation overall, it's uh i'd give it like a like a seven or eight uh, i'll chop your head off anyways no i don't think you understand i'm not trying to do a comeback legitimately fuck you so here we have my custom black suit toby figure next to the mezcal spidey here we got the Mayfix Peter B. Parker figure. And then here is the Marvel Legends Cyclops from X-Men 97 next to the Mesco Spidey. And then here we have the Mesco Ghost Rider next to the Mesco Spidey. And these two look fantastic. And then here is my custom Marvel Legends Mesco Spidey, uh, Wolverine. What we could create, bro. Right. Well, having contextualized everything you said, I kind of agree with you. You, you do? Great. That's good. So at the end of the day, this figure is pretty good. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, follow, subscribe, and share this video, please. Um, I will be back next week with another review, which will be the Spider-Man 2099 SH Figure Awards. But yeah, this figure is a solid 8 out of 10, and I would recommend it. But don't overpay for this figure. It's not worth it like, that much. So yeah, have a good day, and I'll see you guys 